Hi guys, it's Monica. I'm going to share with you my skincare update. Yeah, finally, my skincare update. And I'm going to answer some of your questions and share some products. I'm going to try to be brief, but you know me. So stay tuned. Everyone keeps asking me, what are you doing to your skin? It looks so much better. I, I will have to agree. I think that this past year, my skin care has really started to show, um, if that's the right way to, to word it. I, I feel that my skin is looking the best as it has in many years. Now, some of that can be the fact that I've gained weight and, you know, fat will fill you out a little bit more and make you look better. Um, but even so, if it's a weight gain or if it's skin care, there's my skin, it just looks better, feels better, responds better to makeup. And I think what the number one thing that I can attribute that to this year or this 2021 is I have uh, I have really ramped up my cleansing procedure my face you know cleansing procedure and I've talked about this actually I've done a number of videos on the peaches skincare system initially Lisa who um, is the you know the owner and she's an esthetician she's very very knowledgeable but initially Lisa from Peaches Skincare sent me a sort of a PR package you know you get products that are sent to you in exchange for a review and many times I get products that are sent to me sometimes totally unsolicited other times people will reach out and ask well Lisa reached out and asked and I said yes you know I'm really intrigued in this now Lisa you know, she's very much more into very natural skin care. She doesn't do anything much with makeup. So we lead very different, maybe, lifestyles in that sense. But I was intrigued by her product line. So she sent me, and I started to use, I date the bottom of my, my packages. I started to use the cleansing system January of 2021, January 20th of 2021, according to the, the Sharpie on the bottom. And... Um, I really, I liked it, but it, you know, it didn't stand out to me initially as like, okay, you know, um, this is fantastic. So I, I ended up using some of the cleanser. I ended up using some of the other products, but I also at the same time was using other things. So because I had some cleansing systems opened, I wasn't going to toss the products. I wanted to finish and use up and then concentrate on this. Well, I'll tell you. Once I started to use this consistently and these are the two that I really like the classic uh, face cleanser and the flawless exfoliation these two are amazing I just reordered uh, this and I just reordered one of the polishes um, I will tell you truthfully that consistent use of this in my opinion on my skin has been a game changer my canvas, my skin has never felt so clean as when I use these products. And I'm thinking that even though I did not use these consistently every day throughout 2021 until I finished up some of my other products, I'm believing that each bottle probably lasts me a good six months. You don't need a lot of product. You can use the exfoliation on dry skin if you want. I normally use something to remove my makeup, my eye makeup. And then I, I dampen my skin and I'll use the exfoliation and I will exfoliate even before I wash. And sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes I'll wash first, sometimes I'll do this. But no matter what order I do it in, my skin is so clean feeling. So much clean. I mean, I was using the CeraVe. I have, uh, I have a number of other beauty bombs and makeup washing, you know, face systems. Nothing that I have used has made my skin feel as clean and as smooth as this system does. So, yeah, Lisa, this has been a game changer for me. So I use these two. She also had sent to me at the same time um, a vinegar. It's a apple cider vinegar toner. 
So I didn't really use the toner right away. I held on to it because it has what I call a bite, a little bit of a bite. You know you're using it. You can also smell the apple cider vinegar. So I still have quite a bit left, but for the last, I don't know, maybe two months, I've been using it consistently almost every single day. You can see how much I have left. Now, I never ever take a toner or anything liquid and put it on any kind of a cotton ball or a pad of any sort. So I make sure my hands are clean. I spray it right in my hands and then I go on. So I spray a little bit in my hands because it's not absorbing into any kind of a cotton pad or anything of that nature. All of the product stays in my hand and all of the product goes on my face. So therefore I use less of it. So my cleansing system has been incredible. I still use my glycolic acid toner on an occasion, but not as much. I did a video on my skincare tools. I use some of my skincare tools. Um, I have very large pores on my nose, so I've used my spatula to make sure I get everything out. And then I have an exfoliation, the microderm abrasion system that I said in that video, I think I use every six weeks to eight weeks roughly. I don't even know that I really need to use it when I'm consistent with this. I'm gonna see how it is because now this is basically all I've been using for cleaning my face. Now I sound like a commercial, but I wanna tell you, yes, some of it was sent to me, but I've also bought. So, you know, to me, if I'm gonna spend my money on a product, it has to prove itself to me. It, it does, it just does. This has proven itself to me. I love her system. Now, I still use my Timeless. I still use my vitamin C. This is still my favorite. When I am done this, this is the 20% vitamin C folic acid with vitamin E. When I am done this, I am going to just concentrate on using Lisa's vitamin C. I have not, I only sampled it in the very beginning, but I have not really been consistently using it, but I will add that in. So vitamin C for me is a daily thing. Every morning I, I wash, I tone, depending on what's going on, I do my vitamin C. I love vitamin C. So whether it's Timeless, which is super affordable, or if it's going to be Lisa's product, depending on how it continues to work for me, that's a must, must do. Now, that's for my daytime. I don't do my vitamin C at night. At, at night, I'm going to be after I wash. And that's usually when I'm really washing very good to get the day's makeup, sunblock off and all that. At night, if I'm using my Retin-A, and I do have my Retin-A, which I have an order coming because I'm like almost out. I'm actually out. So I do have my Retin-A that I buy, and I do buy it from that reliable RX uh, pharmacy in India. And... I'm very careful right now with my Retin-A because of my dry eye issue. So I haven't been going up high at all. I've been doing it probably three times a week, which is a lot less than I normally have been doing it. So at night, after I clean, after I tone, I'm going to use my Retin-A or I'm going to use the Ordinary's Rosehip Seed Oil, which is vitamin A anyways, right? So I'm going to use that. And um, I don't use both at the same time, but I'll use one or the other. And I usually will put that in. Now, I have a number of different serums and creams and things that I really like to use. I love CBD oil. So if I have a real dry patch, if I have a real issue with something, the CBD oil goes on my face. I have a number of City Beauty products especially eye creams that I'm working my way through in this sculpting cream. So these are my City Beauty products. And I know many content creators talk about City Beauty, but I actually really do like a lot of my City Beauty products that I use. And I use this, it says um, right here, it says the Eye Revive Firming Serum, this. And I put it like usually right up here because I have very crepey eyelids. So I will put that in and I will let that sit in. And it doesn't lift it up, but it helps firm some of that loose, crepey skin that I have up there. So in the morning, my vitamin C, uh, you know, whatever toner I've done, my vitamin C, whatever moisturizer I'm gonna use, whatever eye cream I'm gonna use, it's, it's typically one of those. I have several other different creams that I've been using and products that I've been trying. One is the Volufilene. This is pretty pricey, I bought it. I take a very tiny bit on my fingertip and I just tap it into my 
deep lines. Now I've been using this for about three months. I haven't really noticed a big difference at all from this, but I'm still using it. And I've also bought the cream, which has the same ingredient in it. I love the cream. It's a firming cream. These are daytime products for me, but I haven't really noticed a difference between this cream and some of my other creams that I've been using either. So I'm just kind of experiencing, experimenting with this right now. But I wanted to mention it because I am using it. So um, back to at night. At night when I've done my Retin-A, uh, I'm all ready to go to bed. Sometimes I'll put a frowny on. I wear a frowny patch on my forehead all the time at night. Sorry. All the time at night I'll put a frowny patch on. And it helps prevent me from, it helps my 11s look a little bit better. They're still there. I still have, you know, forehead wrinkles, but it helps it look a little bit better. I'll put my frowny on. I'll shake up my, my milk and magnesia. I'll shake it up really good. And then I take a very little bit of milk and magnesia and I just put a tiny bit in the cap here, this little tiny cap, pour it in there. And not a whole lot. I can always add more to it, right? So I put that in there and then I dip my fingers in and I put it all over my face, heavy on my face. I do this right before I go to bed. It's the last step. So I've done my Retin-A. I've done CBD oil if I need it, or I've done some other cream if I'm going to be using a cream at night. Whatever it is, I'm going to be putting that on my face. And my last step for my evening skincare is the Milk of Magnesia. Yeah, it is. I look hideous. I have like white globs of it on. It dries. Uh, it is not going to be something you want to put on your skin when you're planning a... Um, a romantic, a romantic evening, I guess. So, you, you know, I'm only going to use this or I'll get up afterwards. That sounds horrible. But anyways, I shake this up. I put it in the cap a very little bit. If I need more, I add more. But I'm very, very generous with it. I pat it all over my face. And, you know, and I might have my frowny on already and I just go all around it. And I just, I just go to bed. I'll tell you, I wake up in the morning I do wash it, if there's any left, I wash it off, but I wake up in the morning and my skin is so soft. It is like amazingly soft. I just gently wash with water and I stop my morning skin care. Whether I'm using any kind of a, you know, a oil, I, I do use um, some of the ordinary products. I use their Buffet. I also use their, their copper peptide with their buffet with copper peptide from the ordinary. Now I layer these things at night different than when I do my retin-a and um, my rosehip oil, you know, so depending on, on my system, on what I'm doing, that's pretty well all I've been using. So peaches skincare to clean my skin, my retin-a and my, you know, my vitamin C, whatever vitamin C I'm going to use, whatever toner I use right now, I'm really loving, even though it has the bite, I'm loving the apple cider vinegar. I believe all of that, the changes to my skin this past year, and my continuing use of my collagen, and then just creams. You know, I have so many different eye creams, guys, that I'm using. I honestly don't notice a difference between an eye cream that costs $90 and one that costs $20. You know, read the ingredients. If you have an eye cream that you like, use it. I, I have a ton of eye creams that I've been experimenting with that I bought. Um, you know, this one, oh, uh, QMS, uh, I bought this one. This is almost gone. I really like it. I bought two of these. I really like it. I bought them on eBay, a lot cheaper than if you bought them in the store. I have a moisturizing system from the Truth Treatment that I really like. This is pure moisture, very thick. I really like it. And then I have a ton of creams from City Beauty. All of them are awesome, especially I love their firming oil, you know. And, and then I use squalene, I use marula oil. So I'm trying to go through and work through some of my products. But that's pretty well the changes on my skin, I think. I still mask. I still will use a mask. Um, I use, um, I use a, a, the New Face dupe that I talked about. And lately I've been putting a mask on and then doing the New Face dupe on top of it. And that real, that's really kind of interesting. So I do that. I do my red light therapy. 
and um, and my skincare my skincare is so simple and so basic it might sound like a lot but i'm not using all these products at the same time or you know sometimes i'll go a week without doing copper peptide but i like to at least do that once a week so it all really depends on what's going on with my skin and my eyes because i just have a terrible bout of dry eye so but that's that's the major changes for me i i can not rave about and i'm not being paid for this you know granted my initial supply was complimentary but i have bought it and i can't wait for it to come in um i i can't tell you how what a big difference and i thought my skin was clean you know i used my cerave i used whatever other cleansing i had system i had and i thought my skin was clean but my skin did not feel the same way as it does now after I wash with this system. So to me, that's been the biggest game changer is really starting out with a clean, clean, smooth canvas. Natural products to some degree, right? Or probably all of hers is natural, but not everything else that I use. So natural products to some degree, but what a huge difference it has made on my skin. I'm actually looking forward to finishing up my Timeless so I can concentrate just on this. And I'm going to look at whatever the rest of her line is. I don't know what else she has, but I do have one of her eye creams and I have the, her face cream. I haven't used that as well. So I'm trying to get through as much of my skincare as I can before I open up something. Now the Dr. Tree, this, this um, with the volu Volufilene, this stuff, everyone raves about this stuff. This cream is supposed to be a lifting cream. It's supposed to make you feel firmer. I like it a lot. I like how my skin looks, how I, it responds with makeup, but I haven't noticed any lifting, any major change in the condition of my jowls or anything of that nature by the addition of these two. I like them. I will continue to use them, obviously, but I have not noticed a huge change, at least not yet. I also still like the Dr. Denise Hydra Boost Eye Masks. I, I put these on my eyes. I really like them. This is the second one. I've, got, I've received one free. I bought one. I really like it a lot. So I use that and yeah, that's my skincare. I'm 68 years old. I should tell you that. Um, I will be 68. I'm sorry, in February next month. But I, um, I have dry skin. And I really never did anything much to take care of my skin other than in the last, you know, uh, since 2016, basically. Prior to that, I really was not doing anything much at all on skincare. So, anyways, that's my update. Thank you so much. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Please leave me a comment. Please make sure you ring the little bell so you'll get notification whenever I upload. And I so appreciate every single one of you. Have a wonderful day.